Hey guys and welcome back to Satisfactory. I asked you guys last time what it is you'd like to see me working on and resoundingly all one of you came back with the idea that we should carry on doing up our base and so that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by building ye olde space elevator here. Ah beautiful. I think this is probably gonna be the best place to put it as like all the uh, the factories gonna be working off over that way. Oh, the, oh here it comes. There's the tether. Come on, let's get down and it's falling a lot slower than it used to. That's that's pretty cool, pretty cool, but we could do with it being pretty fast. So that 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 actual elevator that we can see up there now. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, beautiful. I love it. So I was watching a little bit of Shin. I don't know if you guys watch him. He, he's been playing a lot of Satisfactory at the moment and uh, I've been informed that there are actual like animations for the elevator now and we will definitely be getting on to see that but first we need to get on with our iron over there because man it is pretty basic yes indeed we've got a whole a bunch of platforms and foundations and i would like to show you what we're going to do get over there as you can see, I've been uh, extending my foundation walkway over this way, but we have a little bit of a problem. Look, if we look here, we've got a problem here, but more importantly, we get a little bit of a problem over here. If I pull out my foundations, you can see that the further we get over here, the more we seem to sink into the ground. So I am going to go ahead and go for, I think it's a foundation in here. We're going to go with this ramp just here. Now it's going to... No, no, is that not? Uh, I haven't got the concrete, but we're going to pop that there. What? No concrete? Are you kidding me? Oh, I've just, I've just done all that, haven't I? That, that'll be why I've got no concrete. So as I was saying, we're going to pop the ramp down here and pull out uh, another small foundation and carry on in this sort of direction. It's a bit of a large step up, but I think we can handle it. And we're going to rip down all of this and start building a new system but for to be able to do that we need to be able to split and merge conveyor belts at the moment all we can do is go from one to the other to the other in a great big linear line and i'm sure you guys are aware that oh look we've done a problem here uh that linear lines are not the best way of doing anything we don't have any wire any cable any of these things this is not the best okay cool uh, so, we need to go and upgrade the hub 1-1. One, one. I was kind of hoping that by the end of this sentence I would be over by the hub, but of course, I found out that I broke wires. I'm not sure why having a foundation in the way of the wire, or at least underneath... If, if the foundation had gone up into the wire, I would understand why it breaks, but the fact that putting a, a foundation underneath wire breaks it, I don't know, that's... That seems a little rubbish to me. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick up this wire, these thousand rods and thousand plates that I've got. So I can come over to this logistics thing, select the milestone and be like, yeah, you, you wanted this. A thousand. I said two. I meant 200. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll take the, the logistics thing. And that should hopefully. Oh, look at this. Well, first, this guy's going to go. Wah, be off with you. Now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. It says a productivity display will help you, uh, but I've never, I've never found a productivity display. I got, I gotta say, I, I don't know where it is or what, what they're talking about. But they're like, yeah, your productivity display will help you sort out the, uh, the productivity of your factory. And I'm like, really, really? Well, anyway, we're gonna put the splitter and the merger down on my hotbar here. We're gonna hit an F and we're gonna just rip up this entire line. Yes, indeed. Uh, I will actually, I've just remembered what is I've actually want to do now. I want to move all these foundations out and across towards this miner over here. This is going to take a little bit of time. I'm even going to rip down this miner. And actually, if we can pull it back, uh, I'm going to turn the miner around to face in that direction. Do I not get my portable mi Oh, look. Oh, it's so... Oh, am, I, am I full? Am I full? It is full. Okay, let's drop that iron ore. In fact, let's drop all that iron ore. And we can come along and pick up this. I was like, oh, no, it's not actually giving us everything we needed. But no, this is a waste-free society, as all good future society should be. All right, I'm actually going to put the miner facing that way. My plan is to bring those foundations all the way down through into this sort of area. And then we're going to get the miners out spilling over this way. 
and then use the conveyor belts going down here to split them up into smaller things and i think that'll be great i will uh, bring you back when i've got started on this we're gonna have smelters down below and then we're gonna actually build another floor so as i'm laying all this out i realize i've not actually shown you guys what the splitters and mergers do now i'm sure the vast majority of you guys are smart enough to figure it out but we're going to put the splitter down here what i really wanted to do was line up the two arrows but i think because i freehand placed this foundation here it's not gonna allow me because it's just gonna be a little bit off but we hook up that conveyor belt to the inputs okay nice and simple in to in or out to in we can then take this one and use it to come over this way if i can you know what i'm gonna do uh, it's it's tight it's close quarters here so i'm gonna pre-place the pole it's it's really dark it's got really where's the light gone i'm gonna i'm gonna wait until you see you see that encroaching light there i'm gonna wait until it actually comes somewhere for us to see okay much better so i'm gonna press my four button and i'm gonna get this conveyor pole out and i, I think i'm gonna just throw it there yeah you gotta double click it of course uh, i could take it up further but no that's no need you are you are not in the right place there mr smelter let's put you where i want you you can see that it fits quite nicely in that inside square there have i also yeah i've put this one in the wrong place as well it was uh, obviously quite dark when i was putting these that's a bit of a shame like that beautiful these are now facing the wrong way though aren't they ah so as i was saying not only would it allow me to run a conveyor out of thus woods but we could also, if I bring a conveyor here, can we move that one up? No, it turns out not. We've got to build the conveyor pole separately. But that then allows us to take this one. Uh, we could go out and around, but what I'm actually going to do is take this up to another floor. We have the basic setup of miner, smelters, and constructors here. Two smelters, two constructors. Yes, we can take another two smelters off of this, but we're going to talk about this first so of course the mergers for those of you who didn't quite get what the merge does after we've seen the splitter we can put it around like so grab a, a conveyor belt from this machine grab a conveyor belt from this machine and then they'll both output on this single belt which we can like i don't know put down a let's grab the storage container and i'm gonna put it that this orientation and hopefully we've got a little bit of room to be able to shove that in there all right beautiful and then we should be getting all the plates going beautifully in there so that's nice that is beautiful but as we said we can go for uh double the amount of smelters that we've got so if i come over into my uh my build menu here i'm gonna grab a wall panel uh, and immediately close it off again yep thanks can i put this here or is this like encroaching on clearance that is a shame but i can put it there okay one two and i happen to know that three is as high as we're gonna have to go for the smelters now this is pretty cool this gives us the ability to start going on to the third dimension i would really like to start adding um, an extra floor to this so you can see we've got a line coming off the back there i would like to take that up over this way so that we can have an extra two smelters up there invalid aim location i disagree most strongly and you can see <clears throat> <laughs> and you can see this is actually going to make a pretty good system for having multi-layered uh, factory it's going to make it a little dark down here for a game that's so deeply instilled with the power of light i mean like look at this the the, the, the shadows are perfect but for a game like that there's no lights to put underneath stuff I, I find that very um very oversightful i've got a feeling i'm probably the first not the first but i don't think any of the dev team have thought about putting roofs on stuff I, I, i'm not sure anyway it's a little bit awkward having to deal with going up and down when all you've got is uh ramps and foundations you've got walls but they've got doors in them but nothing's got anything even close to a stair so we've come over towards our hub as soon as i make my way over here we should be able to grab this now the personal storage it's great we're gonna get to doing it at some point but i actually want this one and it turns out i've used a couple of rods but that's no problem let's pop all of that stuff in there turn around i'm just gonna make the odd two rods that we needed okay beautiful and this should gives up give us a nice new set of uh, abilities and build materials to make with um yeah optimal navigation and tidiness got stairs and conveyor walls and something we can open later up is uh the walkways walkways <laughs> the, 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 another thing we can open up a walkway so i'm totally looking forward to that so we've got stairs right stairs left let's go and try and find ourselves a nice little place to put them i've got this little weird off shooty um 
foundation here. And can we pop that? We can. I want to kind of have it that way round. Uh, because the, by the time we finish, we're going to make a double loop. So if we do that, that place is like that. And then hopefully we can come up onto the level here. But this is not the level we want. We want to go a little bit further. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Still not quite the level we want. Have we actually come onto the wrong side? Oh. Oh. Okay, beautiful. That puts us up here. We have access to an entire new floor now. A new floor where I want to put... Look at this. Look at this. This is horrible. <coughs> uh, where I want to put an entire new layer of plate production. Eventually, we have to figure out where we can put... Where, where did that other one go? Sure, I put something here. Oh, we're, we're going to have a floaty foundation somewhere in the world. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's out there somewhere. Uh, all right, yeah. Uh, I want to I wanna do this. I want to move on. How is that interfering with people's clear? Maybe it's this power pole. Oh, that that would be a little disappoint. But uh, yeah, I want to I want to go around. I want to make all this. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you when we have got it all. Oh man, what a beautiful day to be alive! But also, pow! Look at this factory I've built. Wow, that was a little bit further. I, I'm sure I dropped off there before. Oh well, that was a little bit further than expected. Look at this factory. Uh, like a big secret about this factory, it only runs off of <coughs> one miner. That. That is a crazy, if I come over here and have a look, see that one's not even connected yet. I'm gonna expand that out, but look at that, look at, look at all of this. Isn't this amazing? There is a small problem, but we'll get back to that in a second. Uh, I wanna show you this, this beautiful, beautiful thing that I've built here. So we start off with the first split and it comes over this way and it goes into what I call the plate floor. Uh, I love that little U-bend there. Uh, so that comes in through this way, merges out, uh, sorry, it doesn't merge out, it splits out into a couple of smelters. The smelters feed one for one into the constructors. Constructors are making iron plates and the iron plates merge together into this uh, storage container. And we've actually made more than I thought we had. That's, that's beautiful. That is amazing. If we go upstairs, in fact, no, we're not going to go upstairs. We're going to follow the flow of the conveyor belts. We follow this conveyor belt along. It comes along up to this little um, U-turn here. I need to actually like get right on the edge and walk up here to fit underneath this gap that I've made myself here. Uh, we can then follow uh, this belt up here. Uh, I've had to come along and put a bunch of poles down to make this work neatly. Uh, also, a little ramp here. When this conveyor wasn't here, we could... Oh, no, we still can just kind of walk up there. That's brilliant. Uh, it then comes up and merges very much like down below. You know, it merges out into splits. I don't know why I keep saying merges. Uh, it splits out into two smelters. The smelters then carry them off because the output of the smelters is double what either of these constructors can handle. So that's one, two, three, four constructors all making iron plates. These two here go into a merger, finally. We actually get to talk about the merger. Uh, it, and it goes round into a storage. Well, we've also made quite a few rods. I like that. I like that. These two constructors that are also making rods then go off over this way to start making screws. Now, it can make 90 per minute, but unfortunately, uh, it can't output 90 per minute. We, that we have to have a pretty serious bottleneck, and it's a pretty, pretty serious bottleneck in two parts of the, uh, of the factory here. So if I look in here and go to the conveyor belt, transport's up to 60 resource per minute. Not great, because this can do 90, right? So we're, we're 30 resource per minute behind. Let alone the fact that when they merge together here, we can only do 60 here. So we can't even push the 120 that are trying to come out here in time. So maybe actually what I want to do is put a storage container on each one. But actually what I was thinking was the, um, the conveyors are going to bring it down here uh, into this little section that will then be for reinforced iron plates and uh, i think that will be pretty tasty but i said that there's a bottleneck in two places yes indeed right here right at the beginning the very very beginning where it could do maximum impact 120 per minute 60 per minute 120 60 half i can only move half which means everything else is only functioning at half capacity but the entire thing for one one um the entire thing running off of one miner is pretty strong pretty pretty strong now as you suspect there is a way that we can fix this but 
as you suspect, it's not as easy as that. It involves this and that. So that is the hub. If we have a look in the hub, uh, not only can we undo like personal storage and then we've got like parts assembly. This is the one that's going to put the uh, the plates together for us. Uh, if we look on the right, crafts two parts into another part. So that's dual ingredient crafting. Obstacle clearing, jump pads, walkways. The thing you will note here is that we don't have any uh, faster conveyors anywhere. But this up here, complete space elevator phase one to unlock. Finally, the purpose of the space elevator comes clear to us all. We need to put in 75 plates and 50 rotors before we can pull that down. Now, rotors were a thing that we got when we got the assembly machine. So we've actually got a bit of work ahead of us. But I think the majority of it is just unlocking stuff. So that should be pretty cool. With everything available to us in these boxes, we should be able to just go around and unlock a whole load of things in like bam, bam, bam. Ah, oh, turns I didn't do enough bams in a row to unlock everything, but I got all the important stuff unlocked. More complex assembly of parts can be done. Thanks very much, Ada. So the one that has just been launched, can we go to the select milestone, is this parts assembly. I also did a walkway, because, you know, walkways sound like they're going to be a lot of fun, and got the personal storage done for the extra inventory slots. That sounds uh, great. Obstacle clearing and jump pads do need to be done, but now that I've got the parts assembly, I think we need to start work on the plates, and then maybe we can start thinking about what we're going to do with the other iron patch. So I was tempted to either put the uh, rotor and plate production, uh, reinforced plate production, either here or build a new floor up above. But as we need to get most of it into the space elevator, I'm now giving thought to extending this platform off this way. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to do, actually. Death to the environment. We will definitely get everything done. Uh, this also means at some point we're going to want the clearing. Like, there's a chainsaw, basically. We want the chainsaw because of this one, really. That... Just, just that tree right there. All the others can probably survive, but that that's really just too much in my way. I'm starting to feel like at some point I want to take a splitter off the end of almost all of these storage containers and then have a wall of items here. I talked about this last time, having a nice convenient central storage place for everything. I think that would be well, that would work out pretty well. Maybe the other side from the from the hub. Yeah, power over there, and then I run over here and grab the things I need. Maybe. Yeah, that might even be still too far away. So that's the pods coming back. I'm just very quickly going to rip into here and be like, oh, oh come on. Uh, get the obstacle clearance. What do we need? 10 reinforced iron plates and 200 iron rods and a whole bunch. Okay, I can do these. Yes, I can. All right, beautiful. So that's the obstacle clearance. I need to make myself a chainsaw. Now, is it over here? Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah, and that's exactly what I want to get rid of, but I'm just under on a whole bunch of stuff. One thing I have noticed is it takes longer and longer for the pod to come back after doing a milestone uh, each time. And I'm like, what's going on? Is it going further away? Why is it taking longer? I mean, I assume it's going to be some sort of unloading process maybe on the other side. But like, why? Why would that take longer? Surely it just turns up and like dumps its cargo hold on the floor and then the robots... Oh, I thought I was going to cut up. And then the robots deal with it, right? I don't know, try and explain game mechanics but real, real, real world thought processes never never work. Just like the suns. Why are they opposite the planet? Why are they opposite? Like both are opposite from each other. That means the planet has to be in the middle, right? I just, I don't, I don't get it. Like even if us and one of the suns are in orbit of the other side, it still doesn't work. It's still, there would still be drift. If we, if we happen to land here just at the right time, no, no. Anyway, enough musings on the state of the ecology around us. It's time to get on with destruction. Is it actually going to work? Come on, there we go. Beautiful. You be gone with you. <laughs> oh, I don't know when I've picked it up, but I've got some silica here and some mycelium. I assume it's when I was cutting down trees, but I, I literally don't. Like, what? Oh, and that says the bacon agaric is complete. Please choose a no specimen. Oh, whoops. What, what's she going to say? What's she going to say? Lardum or bacon agaric can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Uh, she just tells me the name. That, that, that was not very cool. It's got to be said. Uh, let's have a look. Object scanner mushroom. We can put one of those in. Do I have one on me? I don't, but I bet I've got one in the box. Let's have a look. 
Yeah, we got two in the box. Okay, nice. Let's pop that in there. Complete this just whilst we're here. Oh, beautiful. Now, what I actually came in here for was to uh, see if I could do the silica. It doesn't look like it's actually on the list. We've got mycelia and the uh, alien carapace. Okay, I suppose I'll do the mycelia. Man, these things eat a lot more power than expected. Can you see that new power burner there? Well, there's actually another one behind it. Putting these two down needed a brand new burner each. That is redunculous. But what we've got going on here, we've got some iron plates feeding up into a splitter. I love this raised splitter. I ended up having to like make this straight bit of belt first and then put the splitter up there because if you try and put a splitter anywhere other than on the floor, it just, just goes away from you. See, oh look, you can put it on a wall. Ooh, how about a wall? No, it doesn't like it on the wall. Okay, so anyway, I needed to put the, uh, the belt up first so that I could put that in there. And then we've got plates being carried on over and we've got like the mirror image of each other here. Uh, I did start off shipping screws from the container. You can see I've got a splitter there. It actually came down to another splitter where these two kind of meet here, if you will. Uh, but it wasn't producing enough because our good old friend Belt Limits came along and destroyed our game for us. This obviously can only take 60 per, per minute. Uh, and each of those machines wants 120 per minute. So with a shared belt, we could only run them at a quarter speed. But by running these down the side here using these lovely perpendicular wall conveyor belt things, uh, we can also, 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 just, just why we're here. Let me just delete that. Um, I, I, would, I started by building this backwards and then ripping down the conveyor belt and putting some more in. But if I, if I just grab this and then I want to kind of put it off in a straight line, wait, which, which way's straight? It's just not gonna work. Either you go crashing into the wall, or you come out a little bit, and I just, uh, like, seriously, what? Just, just what? <laughs> All right, with, with that big problem out of the way, or at least expressed, what do I, I just, I can't, I can't do that like that. Uh, let's go up here. I know this isn't quite as I had it, but that's good enough. I should imagine that's going to bump into a wall, but no problem. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that's how I got around the, the plate issue, the screw issue, sorry. At some point, we're going to upgrade these belts. Ugh, and upgrade these belts, we will. But we're still going to have to figure out more of a, a situation with the screws. Almost entirely that, uh, sorry, that mining rig over there is probably almost entirely just going to be given over to screws. Uh, I think I think we need them. I think we need them. This this eats 120 per set per minute. That eats 120 per minute. I think rotors need screws and uh, the machine frames, which are like all the new unlocks that we need to try and make with the assemblers, uh, also use plates. Uh, these reinforced iron plates. So that that that's gonna be fun, right? All right, one last thing to do before I wrap up the episode. We've got a merger here. I want it to go that way. Uh, I'm not going to use a merger there. Hopefully, we can just pull this out like so and then clip into there. Eh, it'll do. It'll do. I'm not particularly fond of what just happened, but that's fine. And then we want to take this over towards the space elevator. Okay, clickety clack. Here we go. We've got some uh, some of these running along. I've got a feeling at some point what's going to happen, is, or at least when we finish this, what's going to happen is we're just going to break this conveyor belt like this line here, and then that's going to end up going as a feed to another product, which would be the modular girders. It kind of annoys me that we flow so much faster than the uh, than the items on the belt. Let's let, let's have a little bit of commentary on the game right now, shall we? So I, I wish that the players and the items moved the same speed on the belt. I, th I think we can all agree that that would be a beautiful thing. Another thing I want is like more building options. I want some lights. I want thinner floors. I mean, I suppose those are kind of okay for floors. Uh, I am glad we we don't have gravity. That uh, that would be that would be rough, but pretty pretty cool. Um, and I suppose oh, yeah, opening the color gun will probably do everything else I want to do. I was going to say, I wish we could have more than just like two types of wall. You see how we've got like that type of wall up there and then this type of wall here. Um, but I suppose painting them will be all right. That, that'll, that'll work out. All right, let's go and see what's going on along here. We've just had a whole emptying of quite a few of these. I don't think it's going to be quite enough, but it is going to be quite a lot. You know, I keep finding myself staring at that one mountain that is so much taller than all the others. I've got a feeling it just happens to be the tallest mountain, that is the mountains that ridge us, uh, that uh, ring us. But, you know, I don't know, it just, it seems to be a bit more portentful than that. 
Uh, let's jump over here and see how this was doing. Looks like all the all the plates are fed in now. Uh, and we are oh, we are so close. We're just going to literally let that roll, I think. Um, but with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we are going to work on the next items in the conveyor line. Obviously, we need to make the rotors and we need to make the modular frames. But we also need to like make a whole bunch of screws with uh, that that miner over there and we also have that miner over there so if you want to drop in the comments down below what you'd like to see me work on next we do also have like the jump pad network that would be pretty cool but yeah we'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye